Hey, what's good? How y'all doing? I'm Whiskey on the Fam First channel. Today, I'm be talking about trying to conceive, which is the basically the TTC journey. So, if you're watching this, that means that, like me, that you are ready to have kids. Some of you may already have kids and just want to add to your family. Well, congratulations on taking that first step. Me, honestly... Um, I'm 26. Never thought about having kids till I actually met my wife. We've been married for some time now. She was like, I want to have kids. And it's been basically a toss-up. Like, hmm, I want to have kids. I don't want to have kids. You know, because in my opinion, I got a little banging body. So I was like, hmm, I want to be successful and all that. I don't see how some kids going to fit into my life right now. But as I start getting older, I'm like, time is ticking. You know, I got to figure some stuff out but you know being with the same sex in the same sex marriage couple you know sometimes you are like limited to different options where versus people straight that's in a um regular relationship you don't have the same advantages that they do you gotta you know like the male and the female you know they can just most times they can just have sex and then boom you happen but the same sex females it's like a different story. The same thing with uh two men. It's, it's like a different route. So sometimes you got to be extra cautious. You got to do take extra steps. So, but yeah, these are some of the things that we're going to be talking, talking about today. All right. So, like, when you start a journey, I know you decide you're ready to have kids, but... First, one of the main things you need to do is you got to take into account, like, if you have insurance, if um, y'all want to do artificial insemination, and if y'all just want to go the clinical route. I know everybody, sometimes they don't have the resources to just go straight to the doctor to start the process. You know, sometimes they want to do the sperm bank and all that. But everybody ain't got the money like that. It's a pandemic. Everybody ain't got the money there. And then who got like seven hundred to a thousand dollars to waste on different tribes? I know I don't. You know, sometimes I can just find the money, but most times I don't. But I just wanted you to know, like doing this journey, just remember to take time to um mentally degress because it's gonna be times where you in the middle of the process and you questioning yourself you questioning god trying to figure out what's going on why this not happening why that not happening but sometimes you just got to take a break a cycle too off to get mentally healthy like mentally get there because i know some people have been on this journey for like a year two years you know i just started this journey what in like june so you know what I'm saying? I don't have all the experience. I don't have the same answers. Everybody don't have the, the same experience or the same story. I just ask that you, you know, be sensitive to everybody's situation. Because you, you never know what somebody going through. And another thing, like, you know, some of y'all are straight. Like, uh, the, the regular couples, you know, the male and the female, sometimes they be having the issues. And sometimes it be the be the man sometimes it be the female you know you gotta you know take those steps to if something is going on you can't have kids take steps i know some of y'all don't know about artificial insemination it's basically where um you take the sperm you can do an iui where you, the clinical route or you know you can do a little salt cup and you know stuff like that we'll get into those details in another video i just want you to let you know it is options out there, and listen, those that are going the doctor route, listen, don't take no for an answer. If one doctor don't want to help you, go to the next doctor. Because it was like an a instance where I went to the doctor, and I was telling them, like, all right, I'm ready. And they sitting here like, hmm? You married to a female. I don't know what to tell you. So I'm sitting here like, I got insurance. What we gonna do? Like, you either gonna help me or you not gonna help me because I'm gonna find somebody to help me. And regardless, you know, um, I'm gonna find somebody that's gonna sign off on this and do this. I got insurance or whatever, but sometimes 
Tricare don't always help. They cover their testing and stuff like that. But as far as procedures, nah, that ain't really too much that they're going to help you unless it's medical necessary. So that's it for the first video. If y'all want to know anything, you know, let me know. Pretty sure I can find the info for you. You know, just stay encouraged. Don't give up. And we are in this together, guys.